Mm, hello. Today we're going to be focusing on finalizing the security of the plateau um, before we uh, start getting into farming and self-sustained stuff. Um, between last episode and now, the only thing I've done is I've uh, gone out of my way to pre-set up, it's kind of hard to see here, a wall on our uh, western entrance and I wanted to try to design a kill box. Um, I haven't done this before and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get it to work sometimes but where the the front of the walls are facing inward so when we put up crossbows we can shoot anything that comes through here. Um, and then we have two more entrances that we got to focus on. One, oh yeah, and we, we uh, have a gate this this little secret path up right here this one i don't think people well i guess people will find out about if they ever build up here but uh this one has caused me issues in the past because i didn't realize it was there and then we got another one that's unbuilt right there we're gonna try to do the same thing over there so we got all that to do and with our tech we got um a lot of stuff coming along, better training dummies. Uh, we'll get weight training benches for once. I'm gonna wait till a little bit till daylight. Yeah, once the walls are, or once the gates are up, then we're semi-secure. I mean, we don't have to proper defenses yet, but at least we don't have to worry about people wandering in. And then seeing our people and or a pack of bogmen come in and just roll over me. And for the meantime, I have Tor Solo up over in um uh Mongrel uh doing the research and whatnot, since we have the, the little house there. And he's constantly robbing Re, uh, the research books from the general store as we need them. Alright, starting to get daylight. Of course, we've been producing building materials at an increased rate. Mine is... Oh, starving. Um... Who's got the legs? Because I'm talking about with the, um... Uh... Wait, where is Hobbs? Oh, he's right there. Hobbs, can you come around here to Ein and drop that? There you go. The doggo is right behind him. Okay, this this is oh, here we go. Beep had the stuff. There's our four out there. So that way they can they can get some food. And we're gonna slow down time here. Who has okay, Reslin's got the these on him. We're going to send Reslin over to finish that gate. <laughs> Fogman on distance. Oh, they're all excited. They got a dude that they're bringing back to uh, the feed on. These guys aren't coming up my way. Good, good. I almost want to put, um, like, Doggo up front just so he can catch some of these people so we can just keep food coming in. I think we might do that. Actually, no, before that. Get him to eat one more, one more arm. Uh, everybody can stop sneaking now.
Mm, Reslin, uh, go ahead and start adding to that. Now, I'm not sure once this is done if people can get around the sides of it. If they can't, great. Um, this one's going to be interesting. Uh, this is uh, the design of this this little canyon here is kind of in and of itself a uh, its own kill box, but we still have to set up walls and whatnot. And I don't think you can get on here, but I've made it to where you can get on here. I actually built a um, one of the tall towers right here, and that higher tower would be awesome right here. I, what I had to do is I had to build like a bridge around the corner here just to get to it, and uh, it was kind of cool. It was a little unique setup. I guess we're not working on research this whole time. But yeah, once this gate's up, we got to get farms down in a farmhouse. Yeah, this is what I got over here. This is like madness, but it prevents them from getting through. And then if they do, which I'm going to make this, this is going to be weird if this is my main entrance. But I have it there as a back entrance because I don't want nobody entering that. This one, I really have no choice. I just got to leave locked or use it as a shortcut to Mongrel if I want to uh, get to Mongrel. So I guess we can start. Let's pause right here. We can start looking at where we want things at. Barrett, go ahead and come over here. I'm going to have him actually do the prospecting. Fertility is just 100% all through here. So, oh yeah, we got to build a well too. Oh yeah, we got the well. Uh, we just got to build it, which I think he has the building materials. He does. So we'll get the well built. Barrack. So what I'm thinking, I want it kind of close to the water. And if I don't, I want two water towers so that people can bring water to it. But let's say we want to build a... We're going to need food production. So it's going to be uh, green fruit and wheat. And it's, I would love to do like a square off, but it's kind of hard to figure out how to square things here because of how everything's built. And we can't just simply. Remove some of this stuff. I guess we could if we wanted to. Oh, no, we can't. We can't. What am I saying? Oh, let's see here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do wheat and then green fruit. The only thing, I mean, it's got a good flat area up here. I just, I'm OCD, so it, it bothers me. I feel like I would prefer to have farms over here because it just kind of looks square. Or it has kind of that, that square-ish look. This pop up, I don't like. I like to see what I'm doing. Oh, I guess I gotta scroll in. So let's say we want how far back? I don't know how much I'll actually need, so two, three. I'll leave room for a fourth. Confirm that. Build. Firm. Green fruit. You want green fruit, right? Or is it cactus? We want to do cactus out here as well.
think that's for um desert cooking allows for dust which i believe dust which is uh cactus and uh wheat so we'll get that out here as well all right we'll start with that first we'll need um building for storage and whatnot i'm still researching buildings I mean, this is kind of like your basic, I guess. See if I can get this uh, looking right. I like that. All about that that symmetry. I say that's probably good could do it in the middle and have a light like layer out here but eh, it's whatever confirm that that's gonna take building materials uh was this going the whole time no he's still building Uh, don't have the building materials yet, because you need, what, uh, we need cactus, and we need wheat straw. Who's got, okay, I don't think, I forgot to get the cactus, I think. Okay, you got the wheat straw, so let's go bring that to Hobbs. Hobbs, go deposit that. Natch, what are you doing? Yeah, we gotta hurry up because dogs are gonna start getting hungry real quick. We definitely want to put them out front though, because we we're gonna get a lot of foot traffic right here. Well, we can bring Torsolo back. I mean, I got him researching right now, but once he's once he's done, we should be good. I know, I know I got like a huge spread out base here, but I want the space. Because I hate when everything's like crowded like five feet from each other. I mean, like I'm doing right here, I'm making everything crowded. <laughs> I'm going to have like crowded sections. Okay, as far as water goes, store it. No. Um, let's see, water tower or water tank for tower? We want tower. Uh, yeah. There's a bigger water tower we could probably get, but I think for now we will do... This is going to be built indoors. Uh, I'll stick with the outdoor one. And I think we'll keep that relatively close to here. We'll do two for now. If I need more, I can always add them. The farm is done. Um, we got no water, so Barrett can do nothing yet. Now do we have uh I guess we can build. So Barrett, come over here and grab oh, he's got no room. 
He can go and drop his food though, because he's a robot and don't need food. Luckily, no one's came back here while I've been building this. But yeah, this has been... Uh, so, I, this plateau is really nice. I mean, as you guys can see, it's... Obviously, it's weird to get to, but it's not that far into the Foglands to get to. I mean, yeah, you gotta come from like this direction if you like the easiest way to it. But um I mean it's easily securable, it's got water, it can it can support uh the like dry uh what do you call it? Um farms like a uh, cactus. I'm I'm having a brain fart here on what it's actually called. Uh, like Greenland fruit or green fruit and whatnot can support that. It's it's not just one climate or the other. It's kind of like a mix of both climates. So you can kind of grow everything here if you really wanted to. And I really want to use this as a kind of like a not uh, a, it might become my central hub, but as a starting base for supplies and whatnot. Because I don't have to worry about the Holy Nation really coming here and messing with me. And if they do, they got to risk um. I gotta risk dealing with uh, Fogman at Rizlin. Can you get through this? It appears not. Yeah, he can't get through. Good. So we're good. We're secure. Kind of a weird spot for a well, but okay. But it's the closest. That, that's the only thing with water. Water actually, you get 100% water, like literally right here. Um... But then you'd have to build like a gate here and like a gate here. It can be done for sure. And I think even one on this side. But you just have to, you're just doing more work. I mean, I have a well out there, but once I get more defenses and whatnot, and I'm fine leaving that gate open, then sure. Okay, doggos are kind of getting fed again. I need to keep an eye out for like a group of fogmen that come by. I just want to feed my dogs. Give them what they need. Yeah, I'm going to keep everybody crafting uh, building materials. Okay, wells completed. Now, can you get... Water. Oh, that's right. They got it. it's not it's they we don't get water automatically. They gotta farm it. So I'm gonna have him get water. Actually, I'm have him operate the farm, but as he gets water, he'll do so. He's gonna be walking back and forth for a bit. Once we get established, we won't need that, especially once we get uh, this. Who's got iron plates again? Oh, that was you. Uh, Barrett, can you build that then?
And of course, you can look down at everything wandering around you. Which I see absolutely, well, nothing except for a group of fogmen. Who are carrying two people. And it's weird. Fogmen weren't down there when I wasn't recording. And then when I record, they're down there. They're just standing in a circle. I don't know. They like they left. Oh, we can send um our solo. It's daytime. Let's go see if there's more research books to um Rob, do a word save here since we finished our main task of securing the plateau. Not do your job. Stop it. Oh, why wants to keep running? You have. Now he has not replaced his stock yet. Yeah. Okay, fine. Oh, getting food. Where are you going to get food from? Oh, from our house, probably. Oh, we'll, we'll keep making uh, things here. Okay, that's done. Now we'll get uh, some water. Slowly get water. This is going to take time. I also got to remember when I bring Torsolo back, I got to get some cactus and bring it back with me. So uh, we can do the cactus farms. Oh, see, they all left. And actually drop this dude. Where'd they go? Maybe they just vanish. I think it's getting dark and we can't see. I will get lights up eventually. Okay, Barrett bringing in water barrel. He's gonna do one at a time, ain't he? Right, six there. We just need ten more or eleven more uh, building materials, and we can get the little basic house built. Of course, this would go a lot smoother if I had way more people, but I think I'm going to keep it small and simple. Once we get farms going, I'm probably going to reallocate the people we have up here to 
keeping the, the farms running. And the production of like things like Dust Witch and whatnot. Speaking of which, Dust Witch takes I guess I can't see it here. Wells too, so more efficient wells, because that is going to be important. And that'll actually take power to run, so we want to wait till we get power. Which will probably line all across this hill here. Desert cooking. I thought I had done it already. I think this research is the one that gives me the manual, like I can design bridges. Let's we'll see. Not that I want to build bridges everywhere, but for defense, there's there's a good reason why I want one. Back to cooking. Dust Witch. That takes... Yeah, one, cactus and bread. I was right. Alright, cool. So we can make those, and those actually are good nutrition. We should be able to get to that point relatively quickly. Well, I'd say that, but if we have more people, then... Eleven, go over and finish that. Eric, has he been going back and forth this whole time, or is he just standing there? Oh no, he's been collecting water. Okay. Oh, that's right, they don't need to do nothing until stuff grows. Uh, calling to water tower. We'll have that last. All right, guys, that'll be it for this episode. I'm Payne Sturdivant, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe.